Welcome back guys. Uh, today I'm taking a look at the uh, latest Manjaro KDE version. Now uh, Manjaro basically has three flagship versions, uh, KDE being one of them, and the others are XFCE and the NET edition. Uh, the rest of the uh, versions that they put out are called Community Editions, but this is really the flagship. This is KDE. Now, um, just so you're aware, I am not a uh, seasoned KDE user. I typically like a, a little bit of a simpler desktop. Uh, but there are a lot of KDE users out there and uh, for good reason. It is a very nice desktop. So let's take a look at what you get with the Manjaro download. Now this is not the uh, wallpaper you would, will see when you first boot up. However, it is one of their stock default wallpapers. Um, KDE has a lot of things that <clears throat> other desktop environments don't really have. And so I've gone through it for a day or so and um, to try to become a little bit more familiar with it. And also to uh, see if it can handle everything that I usually install. So let's take a look first of all at the top of the screen. This little um, menu trigger. Now normally this is on the left hand side uh, when you first boot up, it'll be on the left, but I uh, moved it over to the center, just drag and drop. And um, you've got some configuration options. Show desktop, add widgets, activities, which brings up your desktops, lock widgets, desktop settings, lock screen, and leave. So this is a little bit uh, unique to KDE. And I assume if you're a KDE user that you uh, are very familiar with that. Now, on the left-hand side of the screen, I tried to install a few widgets. And the widget I have is the one that uh, shows you your CPU usage, your memory usage, and your swap usage. Uh, it's called System Load. Gives you some information on the uh, current state of your system. Then I installed a uh, widget that shows you any devices that are installed. So for example, if I plug in a USB drive, and it's still showing me no devices available. So let's try a different one. <clears throat> Okay, so now it's showing that I have a storage device plugged in. And it gives me a little notification. If I click that, they'll go away. If I hover over it, it'll show the most recent device. The other uh, widget that I installed is a volume widget. If I click it, it shows all my playback and capture devices and the volume settings. So that's very nice. And then I also installed a notification widget. So you can see status and notifications, and it's got all of the various options so that you can uh, go back and take a look at any notifications that you've received. And it also has all the, uh, all the programs that I've installed, all the utilities that I've installed in the system tray. So you can see Redshift, Devices, Clipboard, P sensor, synapse, and audio volume. Now, the widget listing is extensive. So if you want to add widgets, for example, you can see that there are so many widgets. And I can see why people like this, because you can really configure your desktop just the way that you want it and with all of the information that you need readily available and visible right on your desktop. So uh, I like what KDE uh, has done up to this point 
because they've given uh, the user the ability to really, really um, have a lot of information available to them right on the screen. So, and these are very nice looking widgets. I mean, visually, um, I don't know of a, a better looking desktop available. You've got a game here, a puzzle, all kinds of, of, of widgets available. Very, very nice. So if I click on the analog clock, there is the analog clock. Now, I'm not sure if I can drag that. Let's see. Well, I can right click it and remove it. And I'm pretty sure I can move that anywhere on the screen, which I did these. So uh, that uh, wrap pretty much wraps up widgets. There are all kinds of things that you can do. Now, as I said, in the bottom system tray, you have a uh, basically a panel configuration option and this I I I've tried KDE once in the past and they I did see this before so basically it's a way to configure your panel height and screen edge you can make it smaller you can see that the screen edges are marked by an arrow here so you can you can basically configure the panel any way that you want you can add widgets add a spacer all kinds of things now as i said i've installed all of the utilities that i normally install and i have not had any issues so with synapse for example i have the con uh, control space hotkeys uh, you can type anything in there and uh, pull it pull it in but that's the typical synapse that's available on all desktop distributions uh, the reason I added all this to the panel was to see if and how it would react with all of the various things that I normally install and it handled everything without any issues at all in the bottom left we have show desktop file manager which is dolphin uh, firefox which is the default web browser and i have obs studio running and that's working beautifully also now as far as the menu uh, it is a at least if, with my limited exposure to KDE, it looks like the typical KDE menu. Uh, it's got all the various favorites, applications by category, computer places, history, and then you can leave. So everything you need is there and it's easily accessible. Now, this uh, package comes fully featured. Uh, I went ahead and added a lot of things that I normally add and I did not have any hiccups at all. Um, now if you click on the category it will bring up all of the uh, programs that you've got installed that fit into that category. Multimedia, I installed Kodi, SM Player, um, Kazam, OBS, OpenShot, but it came with pretty much, it comes with all of the standard um, packages that KDE includes. And of course, KDE has their default packages like Kden Live. And if you go to back to the categories, and go into graphics, you'll see that it comes with uh, Krita. Uh, it comes with Document Viewer Drawing Program, which is LibreOffice. Um, lots of graphics programs, KDE Image Viewer, Panorama, uh, Digicam comes standard, Show Photo comes standard, and so 
all of the standard KDE packages are included. Now, if you use KDE, then more than likely you are very familiar with these default KDE packages. And I don't know a lot about them, but uh, I have heard a lot of good things about Caden Live, for example. So, everything you need is here. Now, if you right click on the desktop, you can go to desktop settings, add widgets, add a panel, activities. You can lock the widgets, you can lock your screen, you can leave desktop settings as I mentioned the uh, wallpaper that I'm using is one of the default wallpapers and you can see that there are many others I think this green one is the one that it comes with out of the box uh, so I think that's what you'll be looking at once you install and uh, of course wallpapers are subjective uh, you can add anything that you'd like that you are familiar with. Now, if you want to remove a widget, you can right click and let's see. Let me see if remove system load. Okay, so you can go back and remove all of the widgets as easily as you added them. Okay, and you get a notification saying that the widget has been removed. Now, so as you can see, it's a uh, full featured, well uh, designed desktop operating system. And if you are a KDE, KDE user, I think you'll, uh, and you haven't tried Manjaro before, this would be ideal for you uh, to get your feet wet with Manjaro. Uh, Manjaro or Arch-based distributions are my favorite. And uh, for a variety of reasons that I've mentioned in the past, but um, if you haven't tried Arch Linux, and you are a KDE user, I highly recommend giving the Manjaro KDE distribution a try. So, uh, and I, I did this uh, review, I don't normally do KDE reviews, but I did this review um, at the suggestion of one of our viewers, and I'm glad I did. It's a very, very nice operating system. So guys, that is it. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.